Hey everyone, Suzanne here. Welcome back to my Tomb Raider 4 The Last Revelation playthrough. Today we are playing through the level The Lost Library. And yes, I am wearing my Tomb Raider t-shirt today. The winter has started in Ireland and it is absolutely freezing here outside. <laughs> but today the sun is absolutely beating through the window in my gaming room. And it is actually like a sauna in here. I feel like I'm melting. So yeah, I guess it's just Tomb Raider t-shirt time again. So let's just get straight into it. So as I said in my last video, I think it was my last video. I'm not 100% sure at this stage. But yes, the Lost Library of Alexandria in Tomb Raider, I guess, um, was not destroyed by fire and, you know, decay and stuff over the years. I guess it still exists and they're kind of saying that it just, I don't know, ended up underground or something like that and it looks pretty beautiful pretty functional, pretty well maintained. So I don't know if people have been down here maintaining it or what the story is. But you know, I guess a lot of the runes in Tomb Raider look pretty well maintained. So I don't know. But yeah, this is for sure a beautiful, beautiful level. Okay, so we're going to start over here and just get what is, in my opinion, the hardest part out of the way. Uh, did, okay, I guess that's not a door. Uh, <laughs> this is going well. Maybe it's this door. That was, uh, that was pretty embarrassing. Oh well. What can you do, really? Yeah, this is it. Okay. <laughs> and I honestly just really hate this puzzle with the blades. I don't like it. It's really difficult. But let's go. Getting down is fine, I think. It's getting back out that is the worst thing ever. Okay, go, go, go. They do give you a good few Maddie packs though, so at least they know. <laughs> at least they know that they're being mean. Okay, go, 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 go. Uh. Right. Oh. Uh. Oh God, that was stupid. That was stupid. That was stupid. Why did I do that? I don't know. Anyway, sure luck. I'm alive. I'm alive and it's all good. <gasps> Okay, so this is Mr. Tin Man. So I do have a very brief sentence on Mr. Tin Man here. So these Tin Men, I think they look like Tin Men, like from Wizard of Oz. Uh, so these are mechanical horsemen. So we don't really have a lot of information on these, but what I'm assuming is that these guys are one of the wondrous uh, magical inventions that Jean-Yves spoke about. You know, when he told us down here we'd face puzzles, wonderful inventions, and, you know, have our knowledge tested and stuff like that. So I think these kind of fit into that. So yeah, they're not quite as random as they might first appear. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna take this guy out with a shotgun and you can, ah, uh, oi, rude. Um, you can only get them. <gasps> Stop it! You can only get them when you shoot their. Uh, what is. their crystal in their chest. That was really bad. That went terribly. But however, we will continue. I'll I'll get better at it as we go, I think. Oh, Jesus. Today is just not going my way. The ladder is on this side. Okay. Wonderful. Oh! <gasps> I don't care. I got the secret. It's all fine. 
absolutely fine. How do I get out? It's, um, it's just not a good sign for my memory of this level, you know? My memory of this level is not great because this is a- No! Oh, whoa. This is a very long, confusing level. They are my excuses. That's it, really. So, there's some point here where you're meant to be able to climb up. Here. Let's just go and do this bit first. The more difficult part. <laughs> I really just need to get it out of the way. Can I just drop safely? Yes. Okay. Maybe Uzis are easier for these guys. Okay, come on. Show me your chest! That sounded really, really wrong, but oh well, that's life really. I think there's another one. Well, uh, yeah. Oh. Gotcha. Um, was there any pickups? No, I guess not. I guess not. I hate this bit so much. It's so difficult. I hate it. Okay. So, I think using pistols is the smartest thing to do while this horseman is on his horse. Uh, so we don't waste ammo and then once he gets off we'll hit him with Uzis. Ah, my camera actually overheated in the middle of this fight so I have to start again. That's how hot this room is right now. My camera actually overheated and turned itself off. <sighs> okay, let's try it again. So difficult because again you have to be front facing to hit him in the chest his uh, green green thing so Ooh. Ah! did I only just get him that time when he's shouted? If so, then this is going badly. Maybe I should just jump around and hope for the best. Okay, see I think the horse's head is blocking my bullet. Uh, uh. I remember I found this impossible when I was a kid. Always got stuck on this part and couldn't get past it. 
I think most of the time I'm not hitting this guy at all. <gasps> yes! Oh, I'm so happy, finally. Saving that. Okay, now I'm just gonna blast him with Uzis. Ugh. Huh. See, once you get him off his horse, he's actually not too bad. Get him off his high horse. <laughs> Sorry. You should know by now that I cannot resist saying something cheesy. Okay, wonderful. Fantastic. So now... Do we go in here to get the secret? I think so. Okay. So, uh, yeah, hang on. Look, and this. Oh, wow. Oh, that was explosive. Didn't, oh, hang on. If I keep pressing it, it switches the, <gasps> it switches the ammo as well amazing. I'm very happy with that. Okay. So this is just a little secret. Just some pickups. Okay, so now we head back to... Oh no we don't, sorry. We head back. I was gonna say we head back to the main library. No we don't. We're not done yet. Uh, now we need to go and use the horseman's chest gem to open a door. That is what we do. Okay. Uh, I think the door is over here. So it's, yeah, Horseman's Gem. I did get it right. I called it a chess gem. Gem, chess gem, same thing. Okay, and then this opens a gate. <laughs> Can we pull it again? Uh. That closes the gate. Okay, don't pull it again. Well, yeah, pull it again once more to open it and then leave it alone. Okay, so we've opened the underwater gate now that we need. So now we go back to the room we were in. Right. Uh, oh. Once I get this part over with, I won't be so crap. I hope. This is just, I don't like this bit. I think it's really hard. And I hate those tin men thingies. <gasps> oh. The whole thing's just crap, isn't it? Um. So I think both of these actually lead uh, the same way. I do believe that they do. I just ran into it. Just ran into it. Because, and there's nothing even in there. <gasps> right. Oh! 
This is atrocious. I'm blaming it on the heat. I'm getting baked. <laughs> I'm getting baked alive. Absolutely baked alive today. So that opened that gate that we just swam through so we can get these two stars, which we need. We need them to solve the planetarium puzzle. Uh. Oh, and I forgot to mention as well that there's three secrets in this level, so we've got two of them already. So we're doing good. Well, I mean, kind of. <laughs> if yeah, good means we're getting through it, but we're not getting through it that well. Nope. Not today. Uh, okay. And I really should take a medipack. I really should. Okay, and then I think that there's another oh for flip sake right there's nothing here right time it time oh no oh god um yes yeah, so there's another one here Oh god. And uh, this is just, as far as I'm aware, a second way to get in. Don't believe that there is anything super special down here. So where does this... Yeah, that was closed before, wasn't it? This is... No, it wasn't. No, yeah, it's just another way to get in here. So, um... Yeah. <laughs> I think that's it. Okay. let me up. So yeah, now that we have our stars, now we do- where am I going? Now we do just return to the main library, which is an ordeal in itself. Oh god. <gasps> uh! That was shocking. Absolutely shocking. Oh! Okay, this is going to be a disaster, but I will try my best. So, I think it's best to go when it's in a corner. Okay, that's one done. Oh god! Ah, oh, jump! <gasps> that actually worked out pretty well, didn't it? That's two done. Whoa. Oh god! Ah! Uh. <sighs> no, I completely messed up. I forgot that some parts of this don't have, like, backs to them. I need to jump the other way. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Gonna die. Okay, so go around the other side. Okay, 
Let's go. Do <gasps> I did it. I'm so proud of myself. I know it was rubbish. I'm aware that that whole section was rubbish, but I'm just so happy and proud of myself that I actually did it. <laughs> Usually it takes me a lot more attempts than that to get that section done, so I'm happy. Okay, so we have everything we need to do the planetarium puzzle now, but we're actually gonna go in here first. I think it's in here. <laughs> to get the clue first that we need to solve the puzzle, because you can't solve the puzzle without the clue. So, and I don't remember what the clue is, so I definitely can't. <gasps> Fire spirits! Oh god, where's water? There's water around here somewhere, isn't there? Isn't there? Don't set me on fire! Don't set me on fire! There! Ooh. Is that both of them gone? I think so. Okay. That was, uh, that was pretty cool actually. She kind of dove over the bench into the pool. I liked that. Hmm. There's, oh, there is a medipack. I couldn't see that. Okay, so now that they're dealt with. Mm, no. Let's just have a little look around. Am I in the right place? I'm actually not sure. Uh, there should be some kind of like... Ornamental... Tile? Is this the ornamental tile? Yes. There's meant to be like some shoot that you can look up and the clue is up there. I don't see it anywhere. Let me have a look around. Oh, there. Great. Okay. So this is where we use our binoculars. Again, I feel like using the binoculars should have been in the tutorial level if it's going to be important to find clues in the game because how the hell are you supposed to know to do this? Huge pet peeve with Tomb Raider 4. Anyway, so yeah, we can use the binoculars and then I believe if you press the action button, it turns on the light and there's the solution to the puzzle. So let's just zoom in a little bit and I'm going to make a note of this. So in the center is blue, then the next layer is white, the next layer is green, the next layer is red, and the outer layer is yellow. Okay, happy with that. It. How do I get rid of the binoculars? Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm happy with that. It just took me a while to find it. Oh, I missed a vase. Hang on. There, there's nothing. Right. So. We have our clue. So let's go solve the planetarium puzzle. Can we pick up any of these? No. Oops. Uh, so maybe actually if we just run over here really quickly. I think it's here. Send help. Send help and a map. 
it would have oh it would have been handy if they provided you with a map just saying so is this it oh it is oh okay um no 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 is these Uzis? Whoops. Run, 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 Lara. Great. Okay. So we dealt with those tin men. But I just wanted to show for anyone who is curious, so before we step into the fire room, there's a fire puzzle later on. Uh, this is the fire puzzle clue, but we can't take it yet until we step into the fire puzzle room. Uh, it's just transparent and we can't get it, so I thought that was a really cool detail. So I just wanted to show that and... Uh... Do you know, I have my bearings a bit better than I thought I would actually, so. We're doing, we're doing okay. So this should be the planetarium. Yes. Look at this. How cool is that? That is so amazing. I love this so much. So I guess this is where they studied. Uh, is the science astrology or astronomy? I can never remember. I can never remember. Um, so yeah, we basically just need to drag all the planets into the positions that we saw on the puzzle. So I'm going to edit the crap out of this section so you don't have to watch me just push and pull these things for like 10 minutes. <laughs> so I pulled the curtain over to stop the camera from overheating because when the sun was hitting it, it was overheating it. And then I felt like it got really dark, so I just turned on more lights in this room, so I hope it's a bit better um, and I'm not just kind of like sitting in darkness. <laughs> okay, let's use our golden stars. So this, this is the white one. Yeah. What, like what other color could that possibly be, Suzanne? So that one goes in the second circle. Okay, and then the next one is the green one, which is over here. Oh, and they get little like planets over them when you do them right, that's cute. Oh, I feel like today's video is just so unbelievably chaotic. I do apologize. I am just so unbelievably chaotic today, so. But we will just carry on. Um, okay, so I'm not sure what color is in here, but we'll do this one next. What's this? Yellow, so that goes on the very outer one. Oh, they made it the farthest away that they could possibly make it. That is so annoying. Okay, that one in there, and we'll get the last one out. Uh, by the way, if anyone is confused as to what is happening, the solution to this puzzle, according to Stella, is based on ancient astronomy which places Earth at the center of the solar system with the sun and planets revolving around it. So that's why this seems completely inaccurate because it is completely inaccurate. Years and years ago they thought that, you know, everything revolved around Earth, everything revolved around us, which is just not true. And okay, the red one, the last one. 
I presume this is meant to be Mars or something. Okay, so the last one, finally. And that should have... Ugh, where... Yes, opened this door here. That will lead us to the fire puzzle. And oh yeah, just open these. It's another way out. Oh, these are the doors that I was trying to open first earlier and they wouldn't open. <laughs> oh yeah, that was really embarrassing. Okay. So, fire puzzle. So, it's just a bunch of serpents, really. So now that we've stepped foot in here, the transparent scroll should be solid again and we should be able to grab it. So that scroll was down here. Ugh. Brilliant. Okay. And there's nothing else in here. Oh, I can't shoot that. No, it's too big. <laughs> it's too big, Suzanne. Uh, these were just the alcoves the tin men were hiding in. I don't think there's anything in here. Hmm. Okay, so back. In here we go. Where am I going? Oh yeah. Right. So let's read our clue. Fire circle scroll. So it says, For the serpents to live, all must first be stilled. Provoke each in turn and the circle will burn complete. So yeah, let's just do exactly what it says and provoke each each serpent in turn or basically just pull each serpent's switch in turn so i mean it's quite an easy puzzle really okay and that oh And then avoid that tile because that resets the whole puzzle all over again. You know, if you mess up or something. Great, so that was an easy puzzle, easy to figure out, all good. And I do believe I remember when I played this on the PlayStation, in the PlayStation version, a fire wraith appears at this point as well. Okay, I don't really remember this bit at all. But yeah, you can jump in there to get rid of the fire rates, so it's not too bad. Um, Where am I going? Up here, maybe. was almost impossible to see on my screen anyway can I pick this no I think that was just oh smart smart one Suzanne 
it's so annoying because it's hard to know like which scrolls you can pick up and which ones you can't. So now we ended up on top, um, the top like mm, veranda or walkway or something of the room now. Okay, so I do believe that we uh, go through this door first. Oh, no, we actually, no, went the wrong way. We can't do this yet. <sighs> but that's just an easy and quick way to get out, actually, I think later, so maybe it's a good thing we opened it. Ugh. Let's try this one. <laughs> Fire, Wraith, oh god. Okay, um, there was water back from where I came from. So let's go back there. I don't remember if there's water ahead anywhere or anything, so. Ah, get away! Get away from me. Get away! There was water just up here, wasn't there? I hear it, I hear it, yeah. Yeah. I do not need to be set on fire on top of everything else. Right, and then we're going, uh, <laughs> I keep getting stuck on the banisters. Then let me go, oh, excuse me. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna go back and get that object while running into every single wall imaginable. Okay, so that <laughs> a really, really hilarious looking pharaoh's pillar. I don't even want to know what they use that for. I don't want to know. Right. So I don't think I go down here yet. I actually think that leads down into a room we've already been in, but sure luck, I'll open it anyway, just to be on the safe side just in case I need it later. It's a good rule. It's a good rule in Tomb Raider 4. Just always open everything anyway because you might live to regret not opening something later. Okay, so this is a slope. What's down here though? Oh. I think I don't want to go here. I think I want to ooh, get a secret. Okay, so give me a flare so I can see properly. And then there. So this will allow us to get the secret, I'm pretty sure. 
Okay, so we're on... Yeah, we're on the line. And that was the boulder bouncing down anyway, so that was handy. Cool. And that should actually be every secret in this level. I realized at the end of the last level I forgot to check my stats, but I did get the one secret that I needed. I think if I jump here it should be safe enough and then I need Uzis because there's a there's a tin man isn't there where is he oh I am in the ball We already... Oh, there he is. Oh, GC he's appeared now and now I'm stuck. Oh my god. <laughs> this is bugging out on me so bad. Ah, uh, why am I stuck? Okay. Yeah, he's appeared now. He almost killed me, but it's fine. Um, okay. So we need to go and get this switch. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god, I did not remember there was a second ball that scared me so much. I'm not having a good day today. Right, let's just... Oh, maybe I need to run and jump. Let's just, um, let's just get this done. Should take a medipack. <sighs> this is extremely stressful. Uh, do I jump into the, the mouth? Ooh. The meowth? <laughs> Sorry, of the line. Yeah. I'll. It's not open yet. Okay. I need to open its mouth. <gasps> oh, well, that sucked. That was the wrong thing to do. There is... I can't see a thing. Is there a way up here? We will see. And, okay, there's something up here. Have no memory of this bit. Oh, okay. Do I jump on its head? Oh, there's a rope. There's a rope right there. Okay. Whoa. Oh, God. Nearly ran off, but we're okay. Okay, and that should have opened the lines. Meowth. Oh, crap it. Okay. So, can I crawl through now? It doesn't look that much bigger. Oh, it must be though, because I can get through. Right. That was crap.
Oh, I did not climb high enough. That makes sense. Where do these lead? Oh, okay. So this is the room we were just in, so I don't need to go in here again. And this leads me... Oh, I remember where I am now. Thank God. So we can... We can just light these by stepping here. And very carefully light our torch. And great, we're back here now with the lit torch so we can actually burn this floor, which is really fun. Okay, let's set it on fire. So excited. It's so cool, I love it. it takes a while to burn though, doesn't it? Oh my god, I was freaking out there for a second. I thought it wasn't going to break. And I was like, oh no. What kind of bug is this? Right, so we can break in here. And yeah, so Lara is obviously trying to tell you this is the scroll that I need. This is the one that I pick up. Out of all the other scrolls. So we need that one. And what's that called? It's music scroll so we can't read it or anything unfortunately i'm pretty sure i missed some pickups in those jars by just not being able to see them <laughs> because my screen is so dark i really need to do something about this screen it's ridiculous uh no there's nothing there Okay. She's like Aragorn every time she opens those doors. So cool. Right, so where am I going next? So I've been in there. I've been in there. I've been in there. Whoop. I've been in that one, that one, and that one. Okay, so we've been in all the doors down here. So we need to get up again. What's the quickest way to go up? Oh yeah, is it in here with the pharaoh's pillar and climb up the ladder? Was the pharaoh's pillar in here? No, that's the planetarium. Mm. Oh wait, no, you climb up the ladder to the pharaoh's pillar. And the ladder was in the fire clue room in here. Is it? Is it? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I think I found it! So proud of myself. <sighs> so proud. So I think we just head to the end of the level now where we need to play the music scroll. So that's cool. And actually, let's just do the stats now before I forget. So yeah, we should have got three secrets in that level, which means we have 52 out of 70, which we do, so great. So yeah, we've been in all those. So it's literally the last unopened door that we need to go into now. Oh, I'm stuck on a pillar. Okay. 
Right, so this is the music room. Or I don't know if it's actually called the music room, but I'm just calling it the music room. Those banners in here freak me out so much because they look like flesh, right? Don't they? They look disgusting. They just, to me, they remind me, it's like we're in Atlantis again. You know, they just look like flesh. Ugh. Okay. And I really, really like that they've included this in the game, actually, because... Sorry, I just didn't want to talk over it. <laughs> over Lara's amazing playing, but yeah, I really like that they included Lara playing the harp in this because every time we visited Croft Manor, we see a harp in her home. So, you know, you can assume that Lara actually does know how to play the harp, which is really, really cool. I like that little detail. And okay. So this is opening the doors to the Hall of Demetrius. I think it's Demetrius. It's Demetrius or Demetrius, but I'm just going to go with Demetrius, I think. And yeah, we have completed the level. Amazing. I'm actually really surprised that I got through that with such little difficulty. Was that one of the worst playthroughs I've ever done? Quite possibly. <laughs> no, the second half of the level was fine. The start of the level was pretty bad. Um, I will admit that. But now the sun has actually gone in and it's quite a pleasant temperature in here. So I'm not getting baked alive, but oh well. I honestly, that's just an excuse because I honestly think that that first section of this level would have been a disaster anyway because I hate the Tin Men. I hate those swinging chain link chains. I hate the part where you have to climb up the poles with those blades. I just, I hate that part. And because of that, this is a level that I regularly do not play. So <laughs> that's why I'm terrible at it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed my sucky sucky playing, please do consider hitting the like button and subscribing. I will see you very, very soon in the next video.